and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a folder icon. Let us create a rectangle first. I'll make sure that I've got sharp edges so I drag the circle upwards. Now I use the BZ tool and I've got the snapping and snap to paths active. I hold control when I drag this so that I've got a straight horizontal line to the right side. I'll hold shift click on the X to get rid of the stroke and add a fill. Now I press Ctrl D on the rectangle and I make it red, then path and object to path. And now I use the notes tool, I'll hold shift and click on the two notes at the top and now I can skew it. Maybe this position is fine. Still selected, I press Ctrl D and give it a different fill color. Now I'll put it in between the black and the dark red. I go to path and dynamic offset. I can drag this icon upwards, but let me disable the snapping. That gives me more freedom to adjust it. Maybe something like this is fine. I shift click, click on a black rectangle in the background, path and difference. But that was a little bit too big, so let me press Ctrl Z. I'll select the light red again, dynamic offset on the path, and I'll make it smaller. Then I'll shift click on the black once more, path and difference. At the bottom I want to cut it a little bit, so I'll create a simple rectangle like this. Shift click on the dark red, path and difference. Let me give everything a black fill. And I union the top parts, so shift click on that. I can group it, control G, and now I create a background. Hold shift and control when you drag this ellipse. Put it to the bottom, let me give that a different fill. Select it all, object, align and distribute, and put everything to the center. Let me create a shadow element. I'll give that a white color and maybe a bluish color for the background. Let me enable the snapping again, press Ctrl R if you can't see your rulers and now you can drag these guides out of there and position them to the edges. And maybe this one also needs a guide. Yes, it does. Now use the BZ tool and follow your guides. By the way, I'm zooming in and out, holding control, and then I use the mouse wheel. Make sure that you hit the right one. I've hit the wrong one here, so let me press Ctrl Z. Close your path. Again, hold shift, click on the X to get rid of the stroke. And then give it a fill. Shift click on the blue circle in the background. And then you can go to path and division. Now we can give this a darker bluish color. But I guess I'll use different colors anyway. Let me try a couple of combinations. It's just a matter of taste now. And this looks fine. Let me select it all, Ctrl G, and now we can easily export it as a regular element. And this I can create such a folder icon in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.